Okay, here we go. Ball position. Now, the observations in this book are pretty cool, but the elaborations of how we're going to do this are going to be way cooler, okay? So it's a good, good thing that we got this started. Now, you look at the ball position and the foot position. See how the stance gets more open as the clubs get shorter and it gets more square as the clubs get longer. This is extremely important for you to understand. The ball position is not inside the left instep on all of these. It only appears that way and let me explain. Okay. Now, this is so critical for you to understand. Ball position greatly can greatly affect the way that your alignment is and vice versa. So the first thing we need to do is set up the alignment. Have a look at my alignment video that I got on, on Golf WRX. And uh, you, so just, just type in alignment, Sean Clement, Golf WRX and check that out. Now we combine the ball position with that. This is going to be huge for you. For many of you, this is a major short circuit. So I've got my ball position right here. My, I have a club that represents the center of my stance and I've got a club that represents my stance line. So I've got it basically square. All right. So the ball is just a little forward to center. Now I'm going to take my alignment and I'm going to change it. Now my alignment is to the left, but the center of my stance is over here. So if you open your stance and you don't realize that your, you know, your ball position has changed, see the ball position right now in relation to the center of my heels is outside my foot. So for many of you, you're going to go, okay, uh, something's wrong here. I don't know what happened. Hang on. Whoa, look at that. Now my alignment's way right, centers over here, and I play the ball too far forward. So if your alignment is off, so many of you have a tendency to line up too far to the right. There's the center of your stance, and the ball now needs to be placed more forward so you have access to your target. Yeah, your shoulders can come, out, come along this way, but the problem is beyond that because you're thinking statically right now you don't realize that you just hit the wall beyond the golf ball and your foot's going to spin out you're going to have to reverse the weight shift to get to that darn target what i want is the flow of momentum to be in the right direction first so i got my stance here parallel to this mat and i feel like my momentum is moving along the mat if my ball position is slightly forward and I need to change that alignment. Watch how we do this. So I've got ball four to center, 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 Ball forward to center. Do you see how I'm doing that now? So when you look at that graph again at the beginning of the video, take a little screenshot of that, and then you'll notice, oh, look at that. Yeah, I got the ball forward to center, but I got an open stance. The wedge is back of center, you guys. Check it out. You'll see. And then as I go wider, I'm also squaring up, the ball is just forward to center again. So this works really well if you want it to hit a fade. If you want to hit a draw, you would, it would be better off playing the ball a hair back a center so you can approach the ball naturally from the inside. But we'll save that for another video. The, ma the fact of the matter is if you want to play your, your stock shot, we'll call it a stock shot for now, and you like to play the ball forward to center, well just make sure that you're performing that properly. Okay. Um, so I would recommend, you know, when you, uh, when you're playing your shots, a fade, a straight fade, if you will, is just a little four to center where the, the back of the ball is touching the center of your stance. And you're going to line up a little bit left of your target. You're going to swing a little left of your target and you're going to hold the left side of your target. If you're a right-handed player. <laughs> so, so there in a nutshell is your alignment. Now, another great way to see alignment is to 
use a door frame. Now when you're using a door frame, this is a fantastic way to get your ball position, especially with the woods, because the, the, the width of your club is so much wider in the woods. So if you look at this, if I put my ball position right here against the door frame, and I want to feel like I'm going to squeeze the ball into the door frame. Notice how my head has got to be behind that. Straight into the door frame, you'll feel the need to play the ball a hair forward to center. If I play the ball too far back, I feel the need now to reach back to that ball to drill it into the, into the door frame. And if the ball's too far forward, I feel the need to lunge forward to do that. So if I took a fairway wood and did the same thing, you'd notice now that my ball position has to be a little more forward be to accommodate the center of mass of this club. The center of mass of that club is further back from the shaft than it is with the irons. So again, that feels like I have to reach back. No good. That feels like I have to lunge forward. This feels like I could pin it straight into this door frame. Well, guess what? When you pin that ball straight into the door frame without hitting the floor first, you will feel that the low point of that swing is going to be slightly past the ball under the door frame. Now, if you look at the illustrations in the next two players here, you'll see Sam Sneed and Jack Nicholas put a door frame in front of that ball and observe where they're positioned and you will see a very brilliant way to deliver a ball to a target. Have a look. There's Jack. Put a door frame out in front of that ball and you'll see how he's behind the door frame. There's Sam. Can you guys see the door frame right, ac right, a right across their left cheek? They're ready to drill the ball in the direction of the target. So if we look at the purpose now of the tweaking of the ball position, if I wanted to hit a high draw, yeah, I could probably play the ball a little forward to center because I'm getting ready to hit it high. And if I'm playing a low draw, there, now it feels like I can squeeze the ball low. Now this far forward, I better have some nice soft ground for my divot and better have that scene to notice my head's behind the ball and I have to close my face more to really feel like I can squeeze low through this door frame. So the same thing if you have a driver, if you have a high T and you want to catch the ball a little bit more on the upswing, door frame's going to look like it's over here. If I want to go along the ground toward the target, door frame's going to be more here. And if I'm going to go, if I'm playing Scotland on a very windy day, I may want to play the ball almost center and feel like I'm going to squeeze it low in there and hold the club, hold the ball under the wind and let those very slick, fast fairways, you know, take the ball over. That's why the Lynx golf is so much fun. The ball rolls so much and you can use the ground to get the ball out there and keep it out of the wind. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed that and we'll see you in the next video.